It's Madden NFL 23. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Denver Broncos and the Buffalo Bills. And it comes your way next. From the home of the Bills since 1973, we are at Highmark Stadium, just south of downtown Buffalo. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Denver Broncos and the Buffalo Bills. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. And this is a game where the defenses, they need to be on their toes because you've got quarterbacks here, yes, that can throw the football, but they can also run it very well, too. Mobile quarterbacks. Remember for the longest time, they used to tell the quarterbacks, stay in the pocket. We don't want you outside of it at all. Nowadays, that mobility, truly an asset, and people are game planning for it. As a scout told me recently, we are actually working with what the colleges are giving us nowadays. And we are underway in Buffalo. Taken in at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Now here's Russell Wilson, 11th season in the league. First, of course, with Denver after a high-profile trade this offseason that saw him dealt from Seattle. The Denver Broncos knew exactly what they wanted when they acquired Russell Wilson. They wanted to bring in a quarterback who was durable, consistent, and a proven winner to take a talented roster back to the postseason. And Russell Wilson, he was all of those things in Seattle. One losing record in 10 seasons, missed only three games in that time, and made nine Pro Bowls. Wilson going to come out throwing. Complete to Washington. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Working with a second and three. To throw is Wilson. This one complete to Jerry Judy. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Bronco first down. Jerry Judy took a step back from his rookie numbers in 2021 while battling an ankle injury throughout the season. They're definitely hoping the arrival of Russell Wilson can help him reach his ceiling as a former 15th overall pick. Judy came through there with a chain-moving catch. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. That's complete. It's Okuwebunam. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. They run for the first time with Javante Williams. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here.
So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Play action. It's Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing is Wilson. Throw right side is going to be caught by Judy. And all the way home for a Bronco score. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Yeah, and that's a run born out of ferociousness. He took on that initial contact and in his mind just screamed out of my way and kept right on going and wound up turning it into a big play. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact of the next gen stats. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. And he's got it, seven nothing Broncos. So the drive there took six plays and it's capped off by the touchdown run from Jerry Judy. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. Here we see the Bills offense take the field here at quarterback Josh Allen. Buffalo gave Allen the most guaranteed money in league history before the start of last season, and boy, did he justify it by playing at a league level once again, taking the Bills to 11 wins and another division title. Along the way, he threw for over 4,400 yards again and ran for 760 with 42 total touchdowns for a top five offense. They were knocked down in overtime thriller against Kansas City in the playoffs, and they will be one of the favorites to win the AFC this season. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen, he's got it complete to Diggs, right side. It'll be a gain of five at its second down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep okay. us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Down. The false start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. Here's Allen to throw it. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Allen to Diggs there for a Buffalo first. Well, he's one of the top receivers in the game, Charles, so no surprise here on the opening drive. They want to get him involved, and he has catches on back-to-back -back plays. And, Brandon, I look at it from the defense's perspective. You know he's one of the top receivers in the game. You've got to find ways to slow him down because if he gets into high gear, he's going to shred you all game long. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Allen going to throw. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 48-yard line. Allen to throw once more. 
toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4 of 4 on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, I'm continuing to let him throw the football. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. Now a chance to make that encroachment penalty really hurt. First and five. Throwing now is Allen. Man open here is Crowder. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Here's Allen. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Personally for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like... Tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You have a lot to handle in this one. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it's finished off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Broncos football as we begin quarter number two. As they get set to start their drive with a first and ten. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Oh, now he'll try and chuck it deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, it hasn't been a banner first half for the defense trying to cover him today, but they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Here's Wilson. And this is going to be incomplete. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. 
slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Isaiah McKenzie is back deep for the Bills. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And where will this be spotted? The side judge says it went out just across midfield. Here comes Josh Allen and the Bills offense back onto the field. The last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six to six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate, the receivers catch it, the ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, ball never hits the ground there either. On play action, Allen. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Now a stoppage here as we've got a Bill shaken up on the play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Allen now on first down. They will find Davis. That's complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 12 yards that time and a Bills first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because it gets man. It's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Back to back, good plays. Have him on the move on first down. From the gun, it's Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. Well, so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. Throwing again on second down. Allen. And he's brought down. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why don't I just handle this one? Get all the yards you needed and then some, and made that snap a huge success. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. They run here with Singletary. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Devin Singletary. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Bills have moved out in front. And they drew up the counter there. It worked. They're glad they drew up the counter. 
And a lot of times what you're trying to do is just simply get the defense moving in one direction. It doesn't take much. Even one step's enough. Get them going in one direction and then cut back against the grain and let your running back finish it off and get the work done. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A drive that time of six plays. And it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run. Here's the Bills kickoff unit out as they will send this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And Denver getting set to take the field. That 7 0 lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Now Wilson on first down. Man open. He's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. They asked him to take charge and get them to a spot where they could at least attempt to kick before the half, and he does just that. Didn't trust what he saw downfield, so he took it upon himself to get them into field goal range using his legs. That's coming through with a play they needed in a big spot. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Wilson to throw. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. to throw on second and 10. Wilson, that's gonna be caught by Judy. And he's gonna get this inside the 30. Now the Broncos are gonna call the first of their timeouts as the clock's gonna stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's going to drop this one down to Gordon. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts 
as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Ball on the eight, it's second and four. Wilson. Dancing to his left. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Russell Wilson, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up, and then you get a brand-new ball game. McManus now for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it was Russell Wilson finishing things off with a touchdown run. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Bills offense now for one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And just 25 seconds to go in the half now as they've got it first and 10. To the air, Allen. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And a great move on the play as he takes this one past the 25. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. First order of business, though. Let's get a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Denver. And in a tie ball game, they've got to be asking themselves, what can we do to get this passing game on track for the second half to come? Meanwhile, for the Bills, they too didn't throw the ball as well as they would have liked. And I think both teams would say there's room for improvement in the second half. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. This will be fielded inside the five. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, 
All I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Devin Singletary's in his fourth year in Buffalo, and he's coming off career best in carries and yards, and he's hoping that 2022 is here that Buffalo runs him to his first 1,000-yard season. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. They go right back to Singletary. Room here to run! And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 15 yards that time, and a Buffalo first. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 47. Now Allen. Now he's, and he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Bradley Chubb doing what he does best, getting that sack. Coming off of a Pro Bowl season 2020, many of us were stunned when Bradley Chubb had zero sacks in 2021. That did come in only a seven-game season due to injuries. Cause for some concern, but he also had 19 and a half sacks in his first two years as a full-time starter. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. To throw, it's Allen. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 36. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact to complete it. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Allen now looks to throw. On the slant, he's got Davis. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. They'll run on first down with Singletary and he will be brought down at about the six yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, it's a nice running right there. That's what got them the first down. But at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here's Allen to throw it. 
A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. But based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Allen being chased out left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Interested to see what they dial up here. Third and goal with a lot of green between them and the end zone. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Uh, he's got it. Touchdown, Bills. Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. A 10-play drive that time. And it's finished off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. Well, Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored. Now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here, second and a yard from the 34. A give to Williams, running right. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. From the 45 on second down, Wilson got a man open. It's Sutton. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 45-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. 
I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. To throw is Wilson. Open man, and again it's Sutton. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. From the gun, it's Wilson. Pass incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Here's a give up the middle, it's Gordon. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Throw over the middle, secured by Gordon. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Now stopped him in his tracks. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. He's got a man. It's Sutton that's complete. And the Broncos are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And with the scoreboard against them here in the fourth quarter, this was definitely four down territory. Really nice job there finding a way to get open and a really nice throw. That sets them up with first and goal. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance. First and goal, Melvin Gordon able to slither by. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. That's good hard running right there on first and goal. That gets him down to the two and puts a lot more pressure on that defense. The Broncos in their hurry up trying to get to their positions and get set quickly. Now Wilson. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his helmet. We've got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Third and goal. And keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. Throwing now is Wilson. Shakes off the sack. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now, has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, 
And remember what's... And Gordon will work his way in. Touchdown, Broncos. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Now McManus for the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it's capped off by a touchdown run coming from Melvin Gordon. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? And he's going to be met behind the line of scrimmage and taken down. And a penalty flag is going to come out on top of it. So they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You should have to pick up a holding call. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Throwing is Allen. Pass caught by Crowder. And from the 15, they're able to work this up to the 20 for a pickup of a handful. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Allen. Into the hands of Singletary. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Well, that sets up a big third down. Now the decision has to be, do you run it here and play for OT? Or do you go ahead and press it downfield? They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Allen. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. The Bills send the punter out as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Six yards on the boot. The coverage holds him to just three on the return. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. Denver's offense now set to go. 
They, of course, tie game, would like to avoid overtime if they could. And a lot of people would go ahead and play it safe here and get to overtime and try and win it there. But, you know, sitting up here in the booth, Take some gambles. I say let's go for this thing, try and push it, and maybe catch the defense back on their heels a bit. See if they do that. Here's Wilson. Finding Sutton. And he'll get him a first down up past the 40 as the clock ticks on. A nice pickup of 17 yards. Ten seconds to go. Wilson to throw. He's got Hamler. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. Midfield now. Here's Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Final whistle blows, and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes, just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. So it's the Broncos who are going to get the first shot at things. They'll have it here as we start in overtime. And we will not see a return to start overtime. It'll come out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And everyone knows the OT rules, Charles, but pretty simple formula. They go down and get a field goal. We continue play. But if they can find the end zone on this possession, ball game over. And as meticulously as all teams plan for a game, I don't doubt for a second on that offense coordinator's play sheet, He's got some overtime plays that he wants to run. I know it sounds crazy, but they plan for everything. First and 10 all the way throughout the game, second and seven, whatever. Right now, he's looking at that play sheet saying, if we get to overtime, what can we break out that they haven't seen? Two yards, the loss, second and 12. As a linebacker, you're taught to stay just slightly behind the ball carrier just in case he makes a cutback. But when you find the gap, shoot it and he found it all right took it straight into the backfield and made the tackle for a loss first play of the drive goes the wrong way here's second and 12. first throw in overtime now for wilson screen play set up for williams nothing on the screen that time now it's third down so nothing there on the screen that time that means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all. Give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. On third down, Wilson. Albert Okuwebunam, the intended target. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Oh, a lot of credit to the play caller here. He saw the design in his mind and implemented it. A little zone stretcher here because they started the tight end on the left side of the formation and sent him on a crossing route. And this works really well where you can find that space between levels, and they were able to do so for good yardage. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, doing a little toe tap, 
to stay inbounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Now Gordon on first down. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. On second and nine, Wilson over the middle complete. It's Sutton, and he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 26. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward, shaping up to be a very efficient opening drive here in overtime. And can you feel the tension building? Because I'm feeling it, all right? I've got the, I've got the sweaty palms here with each play because of the enormity of what's going on. Each play means so much in overtime, and they're handling it well as this drive continues. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on the receiver, and it results in an incomplete pass. So here now is Brandon McManus in a big spot. This to at least get him a lead here in overtime. The kick by McManus is good, and they have regained the lead. They're able to put three on the board here on the opening drive of OT, and now up to their defense to try and see if they can hold this one. I like how you framed it up, because obviously this game is not over, right? They go down and kick a field goal, then we head to sudden death. But if the defense can hold, take the ball away, turn it over on downs, this game's over. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. Oh, a good return up past the 30. The Bills offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. Well, it's pretty simple now. They need a field goal out of this drive to extend overtime, or obviously, Charles, a touchdown to win it. Yeah, and I'm taking the defense's perspective on this one, partner, because now they know with a three-point lead, they can afford to give that up because you just keep playing, right? Overtime gets extended. But if you give up the touchdown, it's game over. So on offense, every play you make, you've got to try and get just a little bit more out of each one in order to try and get to the end zone because they're going to play everyone back, keep everything in front. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. 